What's going on everyone, welcome back to the channel and this video we're taking a look at Wolverine U and just recapping the AMA that both myself and Austin did with Jules last week and there's some pretty big news that we want to kind of talk through. So like I said, last week both Austin Hilton, go and check him out on his channel, not that he needs me to tell him that whatsoever, I'm doing an awesome job and uh, yours truly, did our AMAs with Jules from Wolverine U and I wanted to cover off kind of some of the exciting stuff, some of the sneak peeks and some of the news that Jules dropped in both of our AMAs, which I think if you are interested in Wolverine U is definitely worth checking out. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. Get this video trending on YouTube. So I really, really appreciate that. So look, let's take a look at the announcements because quite a few of these, these came out um, kind of yesterday. So after both uh, Austin and I did the AMAs, and again, go and check out WolverineU.com. I'll leave a description down below to go and have a look. But what were the kind of big takeouts from both of our AMAs. Well, we got the uh, news that they had applied for Satermas. Now look, we all know there's a bit of a problem with Satermas right now, but it is in the process of being worked through. So whether we'll see them on the kind of phase three token launches, which is a pretty big deal. Qcoin, Gate.io and WazerX, all substantial exchanges that uh, Wolverine you are talking to. And look, Jules kind of talks to us about the fact that they are already putting in the work, they are already going through the vetting process. You know, these are big exchanges with lots of volume going through them. So, you know, they're ma making sure they're putting in the work right now so that when the uh, time comes, they can launch onto these exchanges. So pretty big news. We also saw about the NFT game. Now, Jules didn't give a lot away, but what did he tell us? Well, look, they are in talks with the studios that developed Brawlhalla lots of other studios that have developed lots of amazing games they also talked about they're in talks with a studio that developed sandbox for those that don't know sandbox is a huge play to earn game on the blockchain it's one of the real winners of the past kind of month or two um but yeah wolverine you talking to sandbox which is huge we also saw that the nft drop so the next round the second airdrops of NFTs. I think it's from December 17th, January 17th. If you held 0.1 ETH worth of Wolf in you, then you were going to get the second round of NFT drops. And more importantly, Jules uh, talked about the partnership with Fried Vision. You know, the guy's NFTs are unbelievable. And actually, he's going to be really working with the, the, the team at Wolf in you to develop some of these NFTs. The marketplace is in work and staking V2, which has been handled by the developers who helped launch Engine, which is just huge. So some of these people that the Wolverine U team are talking to and that are on board with the Wolverine U team are huge, really, really huge, and only can enhance and support this token in what it wants to do over the next sort of 12 months. We heard about the fact Wolverine U will be at the Crypto Dubai Expo. So we know that they're going to be a diamond sponsor, as you can see here, and equally that they are on the table booth number 99 right next to Binance. So clearly there's going to be some very big volume of people going to look at Binance and they are going to be right next to it at the Crypto Expo in Dubai. So another big move. They're going to do a meet up with the community. And one of the things Jules did talk about was when they hit the milestone of, I think it was a billion dollar market cap, the party bus comes out. Where it's going to be, details to be uh, released near the time, but the party bus is going to come out for the community and everything Jules talked about in both our Austin and I's AMA was all about the community. The community can talk to the developers and they've actually put on the website, if you go back to the Wolverine U website, you can go into the Wolverine U news, click contact and you can contact the developers right away. I can vouch for this. I've been speaking to Ronald, the CEO on Telegram and he's a very open, honest individual. But look, you can shape Wolverine U how you want to do it. You can shape the game, you can shape the staking, you can shape, you know, Jules really was a supporter of the community reaching out and letting Wolverine U know what they want to do. We are expecting the next merch drop. We didn't really get into too much around the merch, but certainly there's been some little snippets on Twitter that will come out very, very shortly. The NFTs that we talked about, they're going to come, and these are hopefully going to be onto the blockchain and be part of the play to earn game. And again, they are working through that process with the game developers. So when we take a look at the chart, Wolverine you down 8599, but here's the important thing. On the 24 hours, only down just shy of 1%. And actually, since we last um, looked up 4.2%, so we are seeing some volume coming in. We saw a really nice spike, and this is a 12-hour chart. 
41,000 daily volume, nearly half a million in liquidity, $8.5 million market cap, closing in on 20,000 holders. So a nice, steady token right now. Lots of potential this year. And I think that's what Jules talked around a lot, was really build the community, really make sure the foundations are in place to then really start to accelerate this token and bring lots of exciting things like we've talked about, the play to earn game, the NFT marketplace, the community, the expo, loads of things that are in the pipeline. And finally, you know, Jules talked about the copyright issue and still to this day, people talk around the copyright issue of Wolverine, the Marvel comic and Wolverine you, the token. And Jules really set the record straight on the AMA in the sense that they've had it legally vetted by a legal team of specialists that absolutely categorically say that there would be no issues from a copyright perspective for both Wolverine and Wolverine you. It wouldn't be worth it 99.9% that it would never happen. They're in com two completely different agendas, com two completely different spaces. So Jules really cleared that up. So, well, the AMAs were great. Definitely go and check them out. I'll leave a link to both AMAs down in the description. I had a blast with Jules and the team. And then interestingly, he jumped straight into the Telegram afterwards. So definitely worthwhile checking out Wolverine U token if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of Wolverine U and I'll see you in the next one.